There you go. Slow motion face. Shortest Brit Lab film we've ever done. Sorted. No? Okay, I suppose we can go into a little bit more detail. Right, let's start with a cool fact. Not everyone watching this film has the same number of face muscles. I'll get to that in a minute. But first I want to tackle what it actually takes to make a face. How many faces you can actually pull and then finish up with a spot of Botox and plastic surgery. Oh, and we've got some awesome slow-mo for you two, including me being hit in the face with a fish. Thanks. So, to make a face, you need a skull. In 2013, researchers found out that your skull shape and facial fat deposits played a big part in letting people see basic things about your face, like whether you're a man or a woman. You've got 14 facial bones that play a big role in how your face actually looks. But the main ingredients of facial expressions are muscles. And the muscles in your face are a little bit unusual. They're skeletal muscles, muscles you can voluntarily control. Most of your skeletal muscles attach to, yep, you guessed it, the skeleton. But facial muscles actually attach themselves to other muscles or directly to your skin. Weird. But hanging onto your skin means that the muscles can move your face in really subtle ways. There's the frontalis muscle, which raises your eyebrows. Shocking. There's the orbicularis oris, the kissing muscle, which puckers up the lips. That's one of my favorites. And the smallest muscle in the human body, the stapedius muscle, which is embedded in your inner ear. The job of the stapedius muscle is to move the tiny six millimeter long stapes bone. Interesting fact for you, men tend to have beefier necks and jaws than women. And some scientists believe that this is protective buttressing because the male human face has evolved to take a punch. Yes, here we go. Let's check that out in slow-mo. See, I'm fine. My jaw protected me. Buttressing. Ow! All in all, you've got 43 facial muscles. Probably. A study at the University of Portsmouth found that we don't all have the same number. Some people were missing the procerus muscle, which stretches from the nose to the eyebrows. And only two thirds of people had the risorius, a cheek muscle that makes a fake smile and possibly controls the ability to make a really, really scared face. Talking of facial expressions, how many faces do you think you can pull? Now, if you've got all 43 of those facial muscles, science reckons that there are six universal facial expressions. Fear, anger, surprise, happiness, sadness, and finally, disgust. That's why I'm a scientist and not an actor. And have you ever heard that smiling uses fewer muscles? Well, that's rubbish. In fact, it takes more muscles to smile than frown. Well, if you're faking your expressions, an insincere basic smile uses five muscle pairs, while it takes only three to make a fakey frown. Paul Ekman, an American professor of psychology, even taught himself to flex each of those 43 muscles individually. You might wonder, what's the point of all that? But his research has actually led him to working with Pixar Animation Studios and the FBI, all thanks to his theory that lies can be spotted by looking at tiny micro-expressions, ones that last for as little as 1 25th of a second. One way to avoid micro-expressions, or really, any expression at all, is to get yourself some plastic surgery. Today, your surgeon can give you a lovely frozen Botox face. And in case you're interesting, that paralysis is caused by botulinum neurotoxin, one of the most poisonous biological substances known to man. Enjoy. Hang on a second, I think. Yeah. Uh, no. No. Ah, oh, sneezes can be like that. Just like Nobel Prizes, you never know when you're going to get one. 